You uh, you like where you guys are right now? Um, uh, I don't know if I like where we're at. Uh, I think we're just improving. Um, and at this juncture in the in the journey, and I think we just gotta keep doing that. Uh, you know, you're not happy till at the end of this thing, but you know, we got more work to do. How beneficial will it be to get Minka back here for the stretch run? One, I think he brings a lot of communication. Two, uh, he's a heck of a player, uh, covers a lot of space. So, um, you know, I know we've been having a lot of guys in there and, you know, moving things around, but to get a guy like that back definitely is a big plus to our team. Kim, what stuck out to you about James Conner as a teammate? What's it going to be like to face him? Uh, you know, the grit, um, always battling, um, no nonsense, just, you know, north and south, uh, kind of mean spin move, but, um, you know, he's an energy bringer for the group. And that's one thing you got to be aware of on uh, during this game is, He's going to continue to just keep going and be the energizer, buddy. Kim, with all the injuries you guys have had on defense this year, how have you guys been able to sustain it and you know, continue to keep your numbers down? You know, I think it builds rotation. Um, it builds depth. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's a testament to the coaches uh, working with guys day in and day out. Um, you know, I can't say enough about the guys who have stepped in um, because, you know, we preach uh, next man up, but it's a group of men stepping up and, you know, grabbing it by the reins. One of those guys is Landon Roberts. I mean, I don't want to use the word surprise, but how do you feel about the way he's playing? You know, in his old age, um, all that gray hair he's got on top of his head, uh, you know, he brings a lot of wisdom to the group. Um, and, you know, he, he knows where he needs to be. Um, and that's half of the game. And, um, you know, I think he's ready for every situation. But I, a joking kid, but uh, Landon is um, very steady in there um, and has a lot of leadership in that role. Yeah, you're how the, how you're the one balance? of the guys that have the one game mentality looking ahead. I mean, you're facing a team that's 2 10, 0 oh 6 on the road, and you have a favorable schedule here coming up. How do you, I mean, are you one of the guys that make sure that? Some of these younger players don't look at records and look at teams and who you're facing. You're stupid if you look at records at this point. Um, every team has players that can take over a game. So um, for us, uh, one game at a time, uh, the work comes in the practices. Uh, and then on Sundays, um, it's about locking in and understanding that uh, you got to have your best game that day. Cam, how did the balance and the production from the offense on Sunday benefit the defense? Uh, we were on the sideline, um, you know, and we've always talked about the best defense is on the sideline, um, kept our reps down 45, I think, or 41 reps. Uh, I think that's huge. Um, you know, if we can get healthy here and uh, not sustain injuries and um, stay around 40 to 50 snaps, that's a that's a re good re recipe for our defense. Is that yeah, defense exactly what you guys always strive to do? I mean, you play a good running back, a team that probably want to run with a quarterback. I, I think I think so, um, but that gets checked week in and week out. Um, you know, I think uh, when you talk about Russian defense, uh, you got to make them, you know, go away with it. Um, you know, if they have success, they're going to keep going back to the well. But if, if you starve them and make sure there's no big explosive plays, they tend to start passing. Cam, there's talk about the draft being here in the next few years. What do you mm -hmm. think that would mean for the city of Pittsburgh? That would be awesome. Um, you know, everybody else has gotten it. Everybody's had a, a whack at it. And, you know, I don't know if we're going to be getting any Super Bowls anytime soon, but uh, I would love to see all our Steeler fans be able to pack the house for a draft. Um, and I think, you know, it would do so much for the city. Cam, you had said a couple of months ago you dismissed the team's struggles by saying we're going to be an entirely different team in December. Mm-hmm. Has it lived up to what you expected? Is this it? Well, we're just getting to this <laughs> December. Uh, you know, for me, I think, uh, you know, you take your lumps early on uh, and you got to continue to grow. Uh, but hopefully we're hitting our stride at the right time. Time for two more? Um, you know, I think uh, time will tell. You know, I think uh, December is a critical month. Um, either, you know, you're gaining ground or you're giving ground. So we'll see what happens. Kim, I know Jalen is it Jalen Warren isn't necessarily blocking you in practice, but from what you saw out of him in training camp and now, just what's the most impressive thing about him as a running back and as a teammate? Uh, I think with Jalen, I think um, his his center of gravity. Um, you know, he bounces off tackles. He's able to keep his feet turning. Um, you know, and. He's always turning a three-yard run into a six-yard gain. So, um, you know, I think just the balance between him and Najee has just been really good. Uh, having those guys um, 
you know, there's not a, a drop off between either of them. So when you have those guys bouncing out, uh, they're able to stay healthy, they're able to stay fresh. Uh, and, you know, you see the rushing gains uh, these last couple of weeks. It's been really nice to have. How comfortable are you feeling out there right now? Um, it's all right, you know, not the worst thing. Um, you know, not typical for me, but, you know, the more reps I get at it, the more I do it, you know. More I'm getting comfortable with it, so. What was your biggest adjustment? Just flipping the plays in my head, I would say. Just going from one side to the other, just trying to forget what I knew on the left and, you know, flip everything, just, you know, because it's all backwards, so. Yeah. But. Did that kind of take instincts away sometimes? Mm, not really. Um, just. Making sure you're going the right way, because like I remember one game versus Green Bay, I went the wrong way on accident. <laughs> so, um, you know, just having that mental toughness and you know the awareness to just be able to flip everything. So, so you're 11 games in. This is basically a college season. How you feeling? I mean, now it starts to get pretty tough being a first year NFL player, doesn't it? Um, I'm actually, I'm okay. You know, I'm not doing too bad. Just because you know, like, I didn't play. Um, probably half of those games, so you know my body's not beat up or anything, you know. So I feel I feel good to this point. Brother, how how did it work with Mike calling the plays? How quickly did that come in? How did that process work for you guys on Sunday? Mm, I really like to me honestly. I really didn't feel no difference of like the tempo or you know of you know. I just feel like we play more as a collective on the offensive side of the ball. Um, you know, just. Everybody being on the same page, everybody playing together, you know, for each other. So I feel like that's all it was for for me, you know. So like I really don't think it matters who's calling the plays. I can call the plays, you know. Um, you know, as long as everybody's on the same page, um, you know, I feel like we'll be all right. Why do you think everybody what what led to that collective or the game? Um just us. Um we had a meeting uh earlier that week, um just you know, setting goals for ourselves on the offense and um what we wanted to accomplish and you know coach is just telling us we got to have that meeting with ourselves and you know be willing to do what it takes to you know for us to perform at a high level were you guys able to kind of get some things out share some ideas that type of thing that yeah, yeah yeah um unfortunately we still didn't hit all our goals you know um three touchdowns that was one of our goals we didn't hit that so you know um we're still working towards some of the goals that we look forward to um just us being able to come together and, you know, just continue to play together and, you know, be on the same page. I feel like we'll be able to reach our goal. Why do you think things stall when you get kind of by the red zone? I mean, what do you need to do to turn the three into seven? It's um, a good question. I really don't have an answer for that. Um, why do we stall? A lot of the other guys were saying execution. Yeah, that, that's really all it is. I really couldn't. I really can't think of none because, like, it's not the play calls. It's it's just we got to be able to. Yeah, like you said, execute. Um, you know, as a whole, uh, we got to be able to get the calls, the, the plays that coach calling. Um, get them in. You know, you know when we get down in the red zone, people start throwing different things at you, different fronts, different. You know, defensive scheme, so you know that plays a factor into it. Um, so we just got to be locked in and more prepared. How much have you helped this run game? Uh, it's not just me. Um, you know, I can't stop. You know, one man, like they say, one man don't stop, no show, one man don't start it. So, um, you know, it's just us as a collective. Like I said, I feel like we, like in the run game, like the offensive line, we're playing more together. Um, you know, Mason's making the points, you know, we're getting it in, you know, everybody's on the same page. So that's all I feel it is. Right, Roderick, how, how beneficial has it been to always have a fresh back, 22 or 30, in there to help that running game result? I mean, they're going 50-50, so they're always fresh. Man, it's, it's huge. Um, just because both of them are workhorses, you know, both of them work hard. Um, so just having both of them being able to rotate you know, it's like it's not a fall off when when one comes in and one goes out. So, you know, that's a plus. How much more difficult does it make your job out there holding your coverage? 
Uh, it makes it definitely makes it a lot difficult because you got to guard these fast wide receivers a little bit longer. But it's also give you a chance to make a play on the ball. So we're just going to take that with a grain of salt and just keep moving forward with that. You know where you guys are right now, seven and four. You have a favorable schedule coming up. How do you look at that and, and think like, hey, this is where we could be at the end of the year? Uh, I really think we're just taking it one game at a time. You know, that's what everybody's mindset at, at this point. We're just trying to get through and get our wins. You know, it's, like Coach says, it's, it's, it's hard to win in this business. So that's what we just got to keep doing. That's our job. Thanks, Joey. Thank you. Uh, I, I never liked the guy. So it was, it was, I think it had to be birthday I got in the building. So definitely.